Hello everybody, uh, my name is Wardrums and I will be uh, speedrunning No Time to Explain Remastered for you. Um, we usually abbreviate that to uh, Nodder for some reason because it's way too long to say the full name. Uh, it was developed by uh, TinyBuild. It was their, uh, is the remastered version of their first game. Um, and it is just like way better in every single aspect of it. Um, it's called No Time to Explain. But I will take a little bit of time to explain uh, the donation bid war that we had for uh, for the hats. Um, the hats is a collectible. Uh, there are 60 in total, I think. And uh, I really like cooking shows, so I collected all of them from, from home uh, and imported that save file. Uh, the developers made it for some reason that you can split up those save files or they split it up for you. So I just like took all of the hats, and we will start with them. Um, who, which one won the uh, the bid war? Which hat? Right. So it's currently a tie between <laughs> cat and multi hat, each at five dollars. Okay. Uh, we could flip a coin, but I actually think we will just go with the multi hat because it will look way more funny. Um, so I think we're just gonna say, uh, "Are you ready on on starting time?" Uh, okay. In uh, three. Two, one, go. And I will uh, immediately just be equipping the hat so we have it on from the beginning. Um, the game is really interesting in the way it that you control the character because you have this uh, giant laser uh, thing that you will be using uh, as a jetpack and as a weapon against uh, bosses and obstacles. Uh, and as you can see, the, the hat looks rather, rather ridiculous. Um, it will be a little bit weird for me to, to run with it. I have practiced it a little bit because it is the only hat that kind of like messes with the, uh, with the model in, in, a, in a big way. Um, yeah. The, the story is a little bit weird. It's... Um, in the beginning, we will be skipping all cutscenes, so we will, won't really be seeing anything of it. Um, but your future self comes back to you uh, and it interrupts you dancing um, and tells you there's no time to explain, you just have to follow him. And then immediately he gets grabbed by that giant crab claw. Um, this is the first boss, by the way. Uh, really simple. Um, but yeah, he gets grabbed and now we're trying to rescue him. Uh, also, this, this this boss is incredibly hard. Uh, I'm not sure if I can beat it. Um, yeah, th th this, is, this is what we do. Very, very hard. Um, after the boss dies, there's this like, unskippable cutscene, but we will skip it anyway by just exiting to uh, the hub world. It's way too long, so we're just going gonna go fast. We got a future self to, to save. Um, that, that cutscene doesn't really explain anything uh, of the story, uh, but for some reason now instead of a giant crab claw, uh, he is a he's grabbed by a shark. I don't know why. It, that's just how it is. Um, and uh, yeah, he's he's quite obnoxious with all of his sh shouting. Oh, um, but luckily he won't be for the rest of the game. It will only be for the first like five six minutes. Um, but yeah, it's just like a, a platformer trying to, to get from the beginning to, uh, to the portal. Uh, there isn't really much to say about these levels uh, right now, but there will be a, uh, a skip that I'll be doing in just a second. Uh, that I'll have to explain So right after this one. Uh, yeah, you can go out of bounds there. That's actually intended. There's a hat up there when you're collecting normally. Uh, so, on a casual play sh playthrough, you'll be hit by that car, and uh, this guy will pop out with a uh, new gun. He has a shotgun, which has a very rapid um, propulsion thing. It can be a little bit hard con to control, and uh, you can only shoot like once until you land again. Uh, all of these out of bounds kind of thing that looks out of bounds oh, uh, are completely intended. Uh, there's a, an achievement in the game that'll that is you have to beat these all of these uh, shotgun stages. Uh, 
within a minute. Uh, also, here we go outside. That is one of the very few places where you can actually go outside uh, of the screen. Also, on the top here. <laughs> um, this can be a little bit tricky. Nice first try. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. When you die, you respawn on uh, at the uh, the last place where you had a uh, had like a flat ground uh, for almost all of the levels. There's a few levels where you don't do that, where you actually restart the entire level, uh, which we'll be seeing later. If I if it, that happens, hopefully it won't, because that actually loses a lot of time. Also, as soon as you exit the uh, initial portal. You uh, you have a few few moments to uh, to jump and and like, kind of use that momentum to gain a little head start. For a lot of the levels, it doesn't doesn't really matter all that much, but for some of them, it really matters. Like that last one where you have to jump over the uh, the wall. Um, some of the loading screens are quite quite long. Uh, the loading is a little bit weird in this game as. They, as far as I know, at least, um, as soon as you enter a level, the loading for the next level starts. Uh, so if you beat the level before the loading finishes, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, it's mostly a problem for these first kind of levels. Later on, it doesn't really matter that much. So here we have the uh, the second boss. Uh, the hitboxes are only on its tail, um, or the the weak point and uh, we de destroyed the tail so now it's a uh, an, an octo shark or a shark to puss whatever you, you whatever you fancy uh, and there's this nice nice little safe spot on, on the side of the boat and that is that boss <laughs> really not not that hard at all <laughs> and now we enter uh, a giant spaceship um, where we will be seeing some some new kind of like mechanics uh, the first one being uh, being these launch pads here. Uh, this one we will be, skip be skipping because it's way too slow. Um, and we will also be seeing some uh, tractor beams, attraction beams that will pull towards the the source. Um, we'll be seeing one in just a second. This one here, kind of like just floats here. A little bit weird, especially with that giant tower hat. Looks really stupid. Um, but yeah, most of these levels is just like trying to go as fast from A to B. Um, this one is. Uh, this next level has a tendency to just troll me completely by eating all of my momentum uh, on this wall here. It didn't happen. Good. <laughs> For some reason, it just like eats eats it all, and I have to like fall back down a little bit and lose a little, little bit of time. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Didn't want that happen? I swear I'm good at this game. There we go. Okay. Uh, also, here we will see. Uh, a world turner button. Uh, it's the only time we'll be using it for this world. They will come back in the uh, second half of the game, but we won't be using it because we will be completely skipping it in this next one. Um, and there we go. You can just barely make it up there. Uh, here we have the third boss. Uh, it's the first instance of actual RNG in this. There's uh, three major RNG instances. The first one being this one, and then the last two. Oh, that's really good RNG. Uh, the last two is towards the end of the game. Um, so you want these kind of uh, fragments to fall down, so you have a uh, rather close to the the center, but not directly under this disco ball, um, because you will. It, it slams down and shoots electricity, and we just skip this next cutscene. Um, and yeah, it can can be really annoying and can lose you quite a bit of time if if the RNG is not good. There. Uh, so this next level is a uh, kind of auto scroller esque thing where you just have to shoot dinosaurs, flying dinosaurs. Again, I don't I don't understand the story. Um, and what happened to the giant crabs? Roger main character doesn't understand either. Uh, but I guess this would, if there's any donations, this would be a really good time because there's re really not much to it. Just shoot the dinosaurs as fast as possible. All right, no time to explain why there aren't any donations. I will explain, however, that 
uh, why Arosi is one of our partners because they are providing chairs for all PC runs as well as daily r prices for the raffle, which hopefully will increase donations to the charity. I guess I should explain that there's this like safe spot up here where almost nothing can hit you. Like you're supposed to like dodge between those uh, like jets. Uh, you can lose a little bit of time on this Triceratops if you don't shoot him as optimally as possible. That was almost optimal, but not quite. Um, and there I just want to move above these so you have constant damage on them. Um, another one of these instances, then they'll, the eels will come back, and then the uh, boss of the stage, uh, which is uh, which is Raptor Jesus. That's not something we call him or anything, it's actually the developer that call it developers. Uh, which called him that. Um, you'll see in a moment why. His second phase is really has a really strange hitbox that moves in from the left like this. Um, but yeah, that really it's really useful because it skips a lot of time or it saves a lot of time. Uh, and that's him done. There you go. And yeah, every time you see me exit to uh, to the uh, to the hub world, it's because I am skipping a, uh, a cutscene uh, that would all otherwise be unskippable. So here we are in the underground, uh, and again, new mechanic. Uh, this time it's fire, and unfortunately it loses our hat, but it, it's it's necessary. Um, when you're on fire, you kind of slide a little bit. Uh, movement is a little bit weird. Oh, that's okay. It's great, great. Um, and you use the fire to burn through the uh, wooden obstacles and obviously the water will extinguish you. Um, if you are on fire for too long, you will die. Um, also these spikes that are moving, kind of weird. Um, but yeah, you will die uh, after a while. You have a little bit longer if you are in the air. Uh, oh, oh, that's real. Okay, I have to restart that. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, you'll have a little bit more time when you're in the air than if you are on the ground. Uh, ah, nice. Okay, that's actually a rather hard skip. Uh, it's, it only saves like a cycle, uh, but you don't really lose anything if you miss it. Uh, I'm not gonna get that one. That's fine. Um, yeah. And here you are supposed to like light the entire fuse, but we don't have time for that, so let's just do that. Uh, this next skip can cause a little trouble sometimes, but usually it doesn't. It did. <laughs> um, you're not supposed to, to like hit the water and fly up th to the right. What? Okay, I rarely. Is that? Okay. If I just stayed on that platform, I would have died way sooner than if I jumped up. So glad I actually got that jump. Uh, again, we skip a little bit of here. Uh, I have to wait for the cycle, and there we go. And this is the uh, fifth, sixth, I don't even know. This is the mole, and on a casual playthrough, this is where most people get stuck. Um, it's really easy once you know how to actually jump above it, or jump over it, and it, it almost never causes any problems. Um, we do a little manipulation here, where we jump into the hole to get him to jump up here. It skips a uh, rock-throwing... Uh, attack. You will be seeing it later because that we, we can't skip that, but or in a bit. And uh, he's actually firing a laser towards us, but our laser is way stronger than his. Uh, so we just walk to like as close to him as possible so that animation uh, doesn't work. Uh, and yeah, it's it's kind of hard to actually die to him. Um, uh, I did that on purpose. <laughs> I did that on purpose because like there is this uh, rock throwing attack, and he will always do that, and doesn't really it doesn't lose time at all. Um, that's the last time, and he will jump out here, and we will do this thing. Um, yeah. So ex exiting out after this one will uh, skip a very long, um, long cutscene, like over a minute normally unskippable, where we free our future evil self uh, from a prison. Um, this is the second half of the game. When the original game was released, it was released in two parts, in two seasons. Um, this is the second season. 
uh, because of budget issues. So they had to release the first part to get a little bit of budgets and or a little bit of money to develop the. Come on, the second one. Uh, this is probably the hardest level because, like, with the hat, or it's the one that is most influenced by the hat that we chose. Uh, as you can probably tell it, it just like spins around it's really weird. Uh, it's pretty hard normally as well, uh, especially this le this level it can be quite tricky. There we go, nice. Um, yeah, as you can probably tell, it's like a slingshot effect where we click to the right of, or click away from uh, the character and you just like slingshots towards it. The blue kind of net thing that you can see is uh, off limits, we can't click on that, but for some reason I think the, the developers forgot that you can click on the walls, so a lot of the net is just like, meh, doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, saved. <laughs> you don't normally do that way. Um, there's no boss in this one because we don't have a laser so we can't actually deal any damage to anything, so we're just like... Our future self comes and gets us with that jetpack guy. Skip cutscene. Um, and now we come to one of my favorite levels, uh, mainly because of the theme. Uh, it's it's the cake world. Um, and we will we will be get, getting fat uh, pre pretty quickly. Like this guy has a real real eating problem. He sees a cake and just like yeah, gets fat. Um, as you can probably already tell, the uh, rolling skip or the rolling crushes the the blue tiles. Also, falling on them with enough velocity will will destroy them. Uh, these few levels just kind of like teach you the the concept of being fat and the blue tiles. Um, this level can be a little bit annoying as, uh, if for a first time player because there's like a whole puzzle, but we just like do this and skip it. Yeah, we want to jump over the cake to get the momentum right from the beginning. Uh, I tried to, to land a little higher up on the hill than just like falling straight down to get more momentum for uh, the roll afterwards. And also, if you hit spikes uh, while fat, you just like get normal, which we and get a lot of inv invincibility frames. That's the second time we will be seeing, and second and last time we'll be seeing the world turner, and say goodbye to that. Here we have a. Pr I'm pretty sure this is intentional that you can do this, uh, but there's like, oh, never mind. There's a whole other like level underneath it where you're supposed to get a hat, uh, but we already collected that, so that doesn't matter. Now we have uh, the first time we will be seeing our evil self uh, as a boss. The Next, uh, all the next bosses will be him in various uh, incarnations. But yeah, he has that weak spot up there uh, where you just like you hit the uh, hit the yellow button. Um, right on the ramp there, I jump. I press the jump button to get a little more height to actually get on top of him uh, before I hit the button. Otherwise, I have to like land back on the ramp and then jump up. Uh, take a lot of time. And that's him done. A lot of these bosses are, a lot of the bosses are rather easy um, once you know how to, uh, how, like the cycles and stuff. Uh, this next boss that is coming out after this this world is a little harder, um, and I could lose a lot of time on him, but hopefully not. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, the stomach acid world. Uh, for some reason, our future se or our evil self is trying to give our our self uh, diabetes. Uh, this next trick is a little bit hard. Let's see if we can get it. Ah, nice, we got it. Okay, uh, it's, it's trying to give ourselves diabetes, and now we're trying to go in our into ourselves in the past to try and stop him. Um, those white blocks explode into spikes when she, when you hit them with uh, with a laser. Um, yeah, the, the stomach acid kind of works in the same way as the fire did from earlier, except once you, like, when you hit the the acid, you uh, you kind of, like, get, get a lot of momentum and get a boost. Uh, this next level is a little bit annoying if I'm not careful. There's just no way to doing this, like, fast at all, uh, unfortunately. You have to be really careful there. But we try, and that's that's about it, as fast as you can do it. This next level has caused me a lot of problems in the past. 
Oh, thank God. <laughs> I practiced this level so many, so many times, honestly. <laughs> thank you. That's, that, that is actually crap worthy. Um, yeah, this, this, this boss just trolls you so many times. Um, the reason he's hard is because you use the laser both as the weapon and for uh, propulsion to, to like... Uh, no. can, we, can we get him here? Oh, we got him. Okay. Um, and yeah, you, you just want to like shoot his shield and, and deal as much damage to him as possible. I was actually really clean. Uh, you can That's basically as good as you can get it. It's 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 two cycles to, to the best you can get it. There is there's a small trick where you can like get it one and a half cycle where you use a, uh, a death warp and it's 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 really finicky and, and not worth like trying to go for in most cases. Uh, this is the art world of the level. This is where the uh, indie developer that made the game Tiny Build, uh, Tiny Build that made the game, uh, really tells you how uh, how a an a game is made, uh, or how a game is art. Um, if you stop to read all of the uh, the notes that the different characters say, it's like uh, a game is art when uh, when you have a, a character die at the end and it's really sad. And uh, game is art if you uh, if you have beautiful music, uh, classical music in the background, which is why we have floor release. If you can hear that. And uh, oh, come on. Uh, yeah, it, the, as you can see, the entire level is, or all, all of the levels are just white. Uh, and normally you're supposed to use the paint gun uh, to, to kind of paint all of the world, but I played it enough. I, I know I know where to go. Uh, except for that one. I, I always paint that one just because the entrance is so narrow uh, and it's just, you don't, don't lose any time to shooting it. Uh, and we get these, like, salt blocks, I think they are. I'm not. Really sure. The the ones that explode into spikes when you hit them, they come back. So now for probably one of the most infamous worlds, um, we uh, oh not not yet. This is the li li more of the uh, indie kind of thing. Um, a little, a little, little like <laughs> yeah. So our evil self is making a clone army, and we are now playing as a failed clone. Uh, he works in the complete opposite way as the straitjacket guy, uh, where you have to like you have to still have to slingshot him, but you like hold the, the button or the mouse in the opposite direction. Um, and the last level of this is is really hard, and I hope I get it in first try. <laughs> uh, Uh, and after this world, we will be coming up to the fir or to the next major RNG. We are actually somewhat close to the end of the game. Um, so a few few worlds to go. All right, here I think the developers forgot you could just like use the slingshot again in the air. You're supposed to like jump like from side to side. Okay, this is the last level. Let's see if we can get it. Nice. Okay, that's. Oof. Ooh, uh. <laughs> All right, so here we have an auto scroller, uh, but it's completely RNG, uh, where the uh, launch pad appears, where the like platforms appear, where the bombs appear. Uh, so like sometimes you can just screw you completely over and kill a run. Uh, it has some of the best voice acting in the game, uh, so I'll keep quiet for the rest. Oh. And sometimes it can just like drop inputs and despawn bombs and all that kind of stuff. If I fall la lower down, I had to restart the level, so that would Rocket be. Yeah. Bombs around. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> you have a j double jump in this level, um, but sometimes it's like nope <laughs> for some reason. I hit was a cool guy. Yeah, he, this guy's really evil. No. <laughs> ah, damn, missed that. There we go. Really evil. Yeah, and we get no bombs here. It's really good. It's, it's actually. <laughs> Which bombs? I can't see any bombs. There we go. Okay, so two more bombs, and he is dead. 
yeah, this is really a run killer. Uh, these snowmen that are randomly there will slow you down, which is actually really good at this point. In the beginning, you want to have some speed because it's a speed run. Uh, but later on, at this point, the speed gets so high that it's really hard to control, uh, like harder than normal. Um, come on, one more bomb. Why are you chasing me? Because somebody loves you. There we go. Okay, that's that boss. <laughs> oh god, all of the. Okay, so that that was actually really really bad. Uh, at the end there, you saw him uh, start the slow motion animation. If he hits another bomb, he will do slow motion again, and there he hit, hit like three bombs. <laughs> Uh, so there, we all our future selves gathered together and tried to come up with a plan on how to stop uh, the evil guy. Uh, and the idea is to splice the uh, shotgun guy and the uh, the laser guy together uh, instead of just giving one of them two guns. Um, but yeah, if you can't tell, this is heavily inspired by Hal's movie, *Moving Castle*. Amazing movie, by the way. You should watch it. Um, but I think I'll use the uh, this time to uh, to explain how the final boss works because it will be coming up after this. Um, he is he is definitely the, the most amount of RNG. It's kind of almost tied between uh, the uh, the auto scroller and this guy, but but he can really just mess you up. Uh, the first he has three phases, and then the first phase he can either jump up or jump towards you. Uh, you want him to jump towards you because. You have way more time to shoot at him, um, but for the entire fight, it's just uh, very RNG how he moves and how he jumps, and he's yeah. You you'll see. <laughs> uh, this is the last level before the boss. Okay. Let's if he, if he jumps up, I'll have to restart the uh, the fight because it saves more time than... Okay, that was good. Good RNG. Uh, and he can also just, in this first phase, just troll you by... Uh, I have to try and t put him on fire. Oh, that was really good. Uh, sometimes he can just, like, jump into the water and, and get extinguished uh, for no reason. Yeah, his target is so small, and now he just like to hang out down here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so you're supposed to do this laser battle as we did with the uh, with the the mole. Uh, this one takes a lot longer, and he is he wins initially, so you actually have to to be as a certain distance away from him. Uh, so we try to to kind of get him on fire without that. Uh, this is the final phase, so get ready on time, actually. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Ah, damn. I, I hope I could get that. Uh, it's coming up soon. Just have to wait for it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is why we try to, to skip these laser battles. And... Time! That's pretty good. Pretty good. So yeah, that was... Uh, that was No Time to Explain Remastered. Um, Shout out to, to Tiny Build, I guess. You have probably heard of them from other games like Hello Neighbor and Cluster Truck and Speedrunners and stuff like that. Um, this is what the animation of the cutscenes are is usually like. Uh, Muffin Man. Um, but yeah, I just want to say uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, this is my uh, my very first ESA, even very first uh, speedrunning event. So. Uh, been a lot of fun. Uh, I was a little bit nervous going into this, but uh, I'm quite quite happy with the run. Um, and I just want to say how how awesome it is to to have an event like this where you can just meet new people and uh, all for for a good cause while uh, while we do one of our uh, our favorite events, which is uh, which you will be seeing in just a moment. I am you from the future. This guy's really evil. <laughs> So yeah, one of one of our very very favorite things to do here in uh, in life is is obviously uh, here it is. Video game. There it is. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. That's me. That's it for me.